This is episode six about the giraffe and the Kelly and me. And then this massive female who 55 years ago had been a world famous opera singer suddenly burst into song. My diamonds are over the ocean. My diamonds are over the sea. My diamonds were pinched from my bedroom. Oh, bring back my diamonds to me. We were so bowled over by the power of the lady's lungs that all of us, excepting the pelican who had to keep his beak closed, joined in the chorus. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my diamonds to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my diamonds to me. Calm yourself, Henrietta, said the duke. He pointed to the pelican and said, This clever bird, this brilliant burglar catching creature has saved the day. The bounder is in his beak. The Duchess stared at the pelican. The pelican stared back at the Duchess and gave her a wink. If he's in there, cried the Duchess, why don't you let him out? Then you can run him through with that famous sword of yours. I want my diamonds. Open your beak, bird. No, no, shouted the duke. He's got a pistol. He'll murder us all. Someone must have called the police because no less then four squad cars came racing towards us with their sirens screaming. Within seconds we were surrounded by six policemen and the Duke was shouting to them, The villain you are after is inside the beak of that bird. Stand by to collar him. And... To the, and to the pelican, he said, get ready to open up. Are you ready? Steady? Go! Open her up! The pelican opened his gigantic beak and immediately the policeman pounced upon the burglar who was crouching inside. They snatched his pistol away from him and dragged him out and put handcuffs on his wrists. Great Scott, shouted the chief of police, it's the Cobra himself. The, the who? The what? Everyone asked. Who's the Cobra? The Cobra is the cleverest and most dangerous cat burglar in the world, said the chief of police. He must have climbed up the drain pipe. The cobra can climb anything. My diamonds, cried, screamed the duchess. I want my diamonds. Where are my diamonds? Here they are cried the chief of police, fishing great handfuls of fishing great handfuls of jewels from the burglar's pocket. The, ch the Duchess was so overcome with the relief that she fell to the ground in a faint. When the police had taken away the fearsome burglar known as the Cobra, a 
and the fainting duchess had been carried into her house by her servants, the old duke stood on the lawn with the giraffe, the pelican, the monkey, and me. Look, cried the monkey, that rotten burglar's bullet has made a hole in poor Pelly's beak. Done it, said the pelican. Now it won't be any use for holding water when we need to clean the windows. Don't you worry about that, my dear Pelly, said the duke, he patting him on the beak. My chauffeur will soon put a soon put a patch over. The same way he mends the tires on the rolls. Right now we have far more important things to talk about than a little hole in a beak. We stood there waiting to see what the Duke was going to say next. Now listen to me, all of you, said the Duke. He said. Those diamonds were worth millions, millions, and millions, and you have saved them. The monkey nodded, the giraffe smiled, and the pelican blushed. No reward is too great for you, for, for you. The duke went on. I am therefore going to make you an offer which I hope will give you a pleasure. I hereby invite the giraffe and the pally the, and the monkey to live on my estate for the rest of their lives. I shall give you my best and largest hay barn as you pro as your private home. Central heating, showers, a kitchen, and anything else you desire, for your comfort will be installed. In return, you will keep my windows clean and pick my cherries and my apples. If the pelican is willing, perhaps he will also give me a rhyme and beak now and again. A pleasure, your grace, cried the pelican. Would you like a ride right now? Later, said the duke, I'll have one after tea. At this point, the giraffe gave a nervous little cough and looked up to the sky. 